Um, it's been said very many times that Roberto Busa was the one who founded the field of humanities computing um, and the digital humanities that it would later become and that he founded it in uh, 1949 with his work on the Index Themisticus project, so a concordance to the writings of Thomas Aquinas and associated authors. And what I, what I always find um, entertaining on that is the Index Themisticus was published in more than 50 volumes uh, in the late 70s. And Busa had worked on it for more than 30 years by that point. In 1949, he wasn't necessarily working on the Index Themisticus, he was working on a sort of a proof of concept, as it were, on uh, Dante and some hymns of Aquinas. And so, his, so it's his 1951 publication actually on the Varia is the thing that really does seem to put him at the source of this literary data processing uh, tradition. And the thing I guess that's so nice about Busa and the reason why he's been such, you know, other genealogies are of course on offer as, as Willard McCarthy and others have pointed out. But one of the reasons why he's sort of such a nice founder is that he, he came um, so with these very charming you know, stories, one of them being about how when he visited Thomas Watson and IBM and that he said that he apparently knew, so according to the version that he wrote in the 80s in, in his uh, annals article in Computers and the Humanities, he said uh, that he knew that Watson wouldn't support it and he'd seen this, uh, this IBM poster about, um, what is it, the difficult we do now, the impossible, whatever it was. And so Busa apparently took this poster down, took it in with him to the meeting with Watson, and then he described how he sat there before Watson and he sensed his tremendous intelligence. And so he took out, so what Watson said, we can't do it. And Busa took out the poster and showed him his own poster. And then apparently Watson agreed and said that he would uh, do this work as long as Busa didn't try to turn IBM into international Busa machines. So a very charming story. We know it can't have happened exactly as Busa described because for example his English wasn't, actually his command of English wouldn't have been at the level at that time um, in order for him to have had that conversation. And we know that he spoke through um, a translator for example. So, but anyhow, you know, never let a, a charming story get in the way of <laughs> the facts as it were.